hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video and on today's video i am going to be sharing with you how i made this dress and this is the sharing dress if you watched my previous video where i did the fabric haul i mentioned that i was gonna use this fabric for a sharing dress so this is the dress that i made i made um a shared bodies with a um, gathered skirt and also like puffy big puffy sleeves i did mention that i was gonna do short but i end up doing bigger sleeves so a few things that i didn't mention on the video was that i added two elastics here on the sleeves and uh also the length of the skirt i didn't really measure it but after putting it on i realized that i wanted like knee length not midi which worked out perfectly this is exactly what i was looking for and yeah so this is the shared part here and i made sure like that create like the armhole nicely so that the sleeves can fit nicely and they can sit properly here on top so i also added an elastic on top here and also on the back so that it can like sit properly and i also added an elastic on the waist you will see on the little clip that i will add at the end and also on the pictures that i will upload on my instagram so i am really really happy with this project and i hope you guys will enjoy it and if you do don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah let's get to the video bye so i'm going to use my bust measurement as the main measurement and my bust is 36 so for the bodies it's going to be 36 by 1.5 which is half of 36 so 36 times 1.5 is 54 so i'm going to divide this by two because i want it to be two pieces so it's going to be 27 i'm also dividing this by two because i want to cut it on fold which is going to be 27 by 2 so 13.5 13.5 inches on fold so this is my bodies and then the length for my bodies i'm going for more of like an empire length so i measured about 10 inches and this 10 inches is going to include one inch seam allowance which will go which is going to be for the bottom to join it to the skirt and also the um elastic casing on top so yeah that actually like 1.5 but it's all gonna be included in the 10 inches i'm not gonna worry about that so that's the length that i'm working on so now i'm gonna go and start um drafting my bodice piece so it's going to be um 10 inches We have 10 inches by 13.5 okay. and to create the armhole I'm going to measure three inches so it's going to be three by 2.5 because normally it's 1.5 but since i'm going to use one inch to do the casing i'm going to make it um three by 2.5 i'm going to join in these two points this is going to be cut on fold and I'm going to cut two. And then the sleeve, I just printed the sleeve and this one is by Alisa Simentanis. I will link it in the description box below. So first what I'm going to do is to join the side seams like so with right sides together. So I'm gonna stitch here and stitch there. And then I'm also going to do a zigzag on top separate before i fold in half an inch for the elastic casing
So I decided to go ahead and change the sleeves. I'm not gonna use the pattern that I showed you guys. So what I have here, I just cut out like triangle pieces. I have two of them. These are 20 inches long and 24. Three inches there. And I did two and a half. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do the same as I did for the bodice. I'm going to zigzag the top and then fold in about half an inch for the elastic. So I'm gonna do on both of them. And then once I'm done with that, I will do a rolled hem on the bottom for both of them. So I finished joining the bodice pieces together. I also joined the skirt pieces together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather the skirt here and then join it together to the bodies. So I'm done joining the skirt to the bodice piece. I did like some gathering down here. So next I am going to start the sharing using the sharing elastic. I loaded like a couple of bobbins already. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. And then the first one is going to be under the casing here. And the distance between the sharing is going to be one centimeter, which is the size of my presser foot.
So I am done sharing the bodice part and this is how it looks. It's so stretchy. So I also added an elastic, let me show you. I also added an elastic right here on the waist because it was a little bit loose and now everything fits great. So this is how it looks in the inside. I'm still gonna clean up. So I used the white and then I ran out of the white but I only have black but it doesn't really show on the other side so it's fine. So yeah, this is how it looks. So next I'm going to join the sleeves together on the side here. I'm going to do like a straight stitch here on the underarm and then once I'm done with it I will go and pin it together to the dress and stitch everything together and then I'll be left with the elastic for the top of the bodies and also the sleeves here. So I finished putting in the sleeves, I just need to put the elastics now. So I have four pieces of elastic here, so two, these two long ones are for the front and the back and these ones are for the sleeves. So I'm going to start with the top and the, with the front and the back here. So I am done weaving through the elastic on all the channels, so the back and the front and both the sleeves. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to join them together right here. Because as you can see, I only stitched like halfway. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish stitching here and here and also on the other side. So here's the complete dress. I also removed about two inches down here it was a little bit longer for what I was going for. So here is the top, the sleeves are done. Uh, I'm actually loving the big puffy sleeves. I didn't know if I was gonna love them. But as you can see, the elastic on top here actually makes, makes it look nice and stable and all the sherry and yeah i did add an elastic here on the waist as well to kind of like cinch it in because it was a little bit loose so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys on the next tour